to start this video off hi babes welcome back to my channel if you're new here and you've never heard of me my name is Kayla you can call me Kay you can call me Kevin it's definitely up to you what's good what's popping with you doing sis let me know down below in the comments if you're interested in this look and how I achieved it it's very extra it's fucking everything is given I, under I understood the assignment I'm gonna just put the inspiration picture right here I love you guys if you're new subscribe like comment and we're gonna get straight into the video let's go Okay, babies, welcome to another voiceover. Getting straight into it, I'm going to be priming my eyelid using my P. Louise Base Rumor Zero for a flat base. Of course, this is going to help with your pigment showing up, being very pigmented, having those bright colors shine through. I'm not putting these colors on my eyes for them to be muddy and all of that. So, you know, I need them to be bright. So, I'm going in with um, Rumor Zero. And I'm just making sure I blend it out very well so it's smooth and flat and gives me the perfect base I need for these colors. Of course, I'm going to show you the palettes that I'm using today. My old reliables, of course, James Charles um, with Morphe. And I'm using this deep purple shade, Escape. And I'm going to just go into those pinks, Skip and Pinkity Drinkity. If you know, you know. And I'm also using my Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild palette. I'm using the shade Feeling Myself, which is the perfect shade of purple for this look, guys. I was very inspired to just do as many Valentine's looks as I could this year. So this is Valentine's Day look number two. I hope you like it. So I'm going in with my e.l.f. brush. This is a very, very small brush. It's very precise and dense. And I'm going to use this to pack on that shade from the Bretman Rock palette, feeling myself, and I'm using tapping motions. I'm not smearing or um, doing the windshield wiper motions yet. Right now, we're just tapping and packing on that product so we will get the most payoff from this color because this is going to be the main color. Okay, so we're just going to build that color with this palette. These colors are so buildable. And with most eyeshadows, you can build them up and add as much product as you need to get the payoff that you're looking for. So now I'm going in with a clean brush. This is a fluffier brush, which is less dense. And I'm going in with the shade Lighter. This is um, the shade Single in the James Charles palette. And I'm using this fluffy brush to diffuse those harsh lines and kind of start the blend that I'm looking to achieve. And I will go back and forth from both brushes. The previous brush that I used, which I didn't add any product. Um, that first brush is an e.l.f. brush and that is a blending eyeshadow brush that I used to tap that first product. So this brush is the AOA Studio brush and this is the E127. It's very fluffy and I'm just using it to diffuse this color out. And guys, the way you hold your brush determines how harsh and how light your blend is gonna be. So as you can see, I go from holding it at the very tip and then I go closer towards the actual um, silver handle on the brush. So that does help as well. The next brush that I will be tapping into, I am using the AOA Studio brush. This is an E132 and it's very dense. Um, I'm using this to pack on black. Okay, black is the hardest shade to achieve blacks. And I believe purples can, cause purples can be very patchy, but um, I'm taking black and I'm going right above my crease just because I have a hooded eye. So if you have a big crease, this probably won't give you problem, but going with black and this is just going to deepen the crease area for me. And then I'm going to go back into those other shades, like I said before. So I'm using that first brush and just packing it right on top of that black to diffuse it and make sure it's not too dark. I just wanted to darken up the crease just a little bit before we actually go in and cut the crease. So now we are getting that blend exactly how I want it. I wanted the dark and deep shades to be right in the creases of the heart before we actually cut the um, cut crease out. So now I will be taking my colored P. Louise cosmetic base. And this is in the shade Vivid Violet. 
and I have ordered these so long ago when I actually got my Rumor Zero base and never used it so I was excited to get the chance to use it. So I'm taking that and I'm taking my Real Techniques Precision Brush and just flattening it out on the back of my hand. But before I lay any base or any product on my lid for a cut crease, I do this little hack. So you can use your Marcella water or you can use Vaseline. Cut your crease and outline where you want your crease to be cut before doing so you, you know what i'm trying to say just go ahead and do this because this helps with actually having a flat foundation again because you don't want to put base on top of base because i've of course i've already primed my eyelid and now i have shadow in the areas where i'm gonna cut so this is just going to help the actual pigment lay flat and your base to be the color that you're trying to achieve instead of you know the color of your shadows that were underneath So once I feel like I have achieved that heart shape that I'm going for, I'm going to go back into those shadows and I'm using my AOA brush, the E132, and I'm taking that black and every crease surrounding the heart, I'm just going to deepen up with a little bit of black and that deepest purple and the um, shade Escape in that James Charles palette. And of course I make mistakes. so any mistakes that I see um, I, I'm a perfectionist and most makeup artists are um, but I'm just gonna go back and fix any mistakes that I can see and try to actually get that heart to look like a heart you know that's that's what I'm going for so that's what I'm gonna try to do my best to achieve and then guys these rhinestones were trying to give me a little problem but you know we, we fix mistakes around here we ain't starting over <laughs> So then I'm going to take that base that I flattened out on my brush and I'm just going to go in and lightly press this onto the skin. And as you can see, I kind of do a press, pull, press, pull, press, pull method um, just because this is a heart and we're carving this heart, okay? I'm not going to be able to drag and manipulate this product like I typically do when I use concealer and my other primers and bases. So I'm tapping and pressing and pulling. That is it. Those are the motions that you're seeing. I know this clip is probably sped up, but that's what I'm doing guys. So make sure you do that because we are going to be laying shadows on top of this base. So for the shadows of choice, I'm using the color Single and Pinkity Drinkity, and I kind of mixed the two, and it like pretty much tit for tat matched the color of my top <laughs> that I'm wearing, so I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted it to be more lilac, like the um, base, but of course, you know, you gotta improvise sometimes, and I still really like how this shade looked. So I'm just packing that in a tapping motion to get the best payoff, guys. If you want payoff, you want to tap instead of blend. So where you would normally do your windshield wiper motions or your big circles, this is where you're just going to tap and pack so you can get that pigment and that payoff that you're looking for. So this is very much one of those trust the process moments, guys. And I just thought that was a little cute transition. So now we're getting into the fun part. I ordered this little gem daughter tool thingamabobby off Shein with this nail kit that you'll probably see in the upcoming video. So I'm using that and I'm using my everything glue. Okay, that's what we gonna call it, even though you know it's duo glue. This is my only lash glue, the only adhesive that I use for like my chunky glitters and everything. So of course I use it to lay my rhinestones, of course. So I'm taking my glue and just tracing over that purple. I don't want to take away from the black, so I am actually outlining where that base meets the black, okay? So I'm doing that and then I let it get a little tacky. It didn't dry for too long because we're going straight in with these stones and I am using the end of my tool that is rubber. It picks up stones perfectly, guys. I, whoever invented this, 
Chef's kiss, okay? Picked up these gems with no problem and adhered it to the glue, no problem. The only thing is this glue dries down clear, so you have to move fast or you will not see where you place that glue. <laughs> Okay, fast forward. Now we're getting into the skin, the foundation, okay? Taking my um, AOA primer. This is the perfect priming, blurring, whatever primer. Y'all know it was in my shop, Miss Day Haul. And I'm taking my concealers. Y'all know the deal, just like any other day. This is my 16 hour camo concealer in Deep Olive. And I just did a little heart for you guys because it went with the look. And then I'm also going to be going in with my old reliable old faithful la girl pro concealers as well so this one that i'm placing right in the center that's medium beige and i just put that right on top i let my concealers dry down a little bit so you will see me put all of these on before i go into foundation and all of that and i'm taking mahogany which is too dark for my you know contour color but i used it and it worked perfectly fine I also went in with my e.l.f. Um, contouring palette. This is in deep, and I took that deepest shade. I took a little bit of it on the back of my hand, and I took my perfect um, buffing brush by Real Techniques, buffed it on the back of my hand first, and then I went on and cream contoured. I've been liking how this just seamlessly blends when I do my foundation in the areas where I apply foundation. I like this method. It works for me. See, Mahogany just didn't want to do right, so I knew then I didn't need her in my life. So I took two strips of my little um, foundation and put that on right where I put my contour shade, and I blended it with a sponge. Tap, 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 press, 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 okay? And I did use setting spray. I used so much setting spray, okay? Probably every layer of makeup, I apply setting spray, so... <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the little ASMR. I decided to leave some real time clips in here so you can actually see the process. So setting spray, again, like I said, almost every layer and I use my little fan to kind of dry my face before I go in with highlighter and I am using my Bretman Rock highlighter, guys. Okay, I want it to shine bright like a diamond. So I chose to use this and I use my Bretman Rock highlighter brush, okay? And this was the duo and I believe I used um what color? It is two colors in here. Okay, I used the rose gold pinky color. I think it's um bronze tigeress. I'm not sure which one, but you know, that's the color I used. And I put that everywhere. Every, okay? So what you do to the top or what you want what you do to one side you do to the other okay i believe in symmetry so we're gonna close this heart off and i'm using the same brushes the same shade so right now we're using bretman rock and i'm using feeling myself right under the eye then i go in that fluffy brush again and buff that out and just repeat repeat i put a little bit of that p louise base on my waterline and then packed that um pink shade right on top of it so it could kind of stay that lilac color you could barely see it but i knew it was there okay and i kept getting shadow on my stone so of course i took you know a little q-tip and cleaned that up any mistakes i, I touched up that's that's what we do over here we do touch ups okay and then of course i did black at the bottom as well where i'm closing off the heart with the stones because it has to look like a heart guys i would not have been impressed if it didn't and you can stop here if you want it to actually be wearable and not extra okay <laughs> because i'm going for extra we're gonna close this off what i did to one side i'm gonna do to the other
what is it like eat sleep repeat yeah so that's what we're doing repeating the same steps we did on the top using those same shades and we're gonna close this heart off i'm doing the black to outline where the heart is gonna go and i'm taking this same p louise base and i'm going to make the little arrows a point of the heart and then I'm going to pack those two shades that I mixed together and I'm going to pack it right on top of that base and then go in with black and I'm going to outline where I place this black base, you know, so I can get that dimension, even though this is like a one color makeup look. So thank you, babe, so, 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 so much for tuning in today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button, give this video a big thumbs up, drop all of your comments down below in the comment section. I love you guys oh so 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 much happy valentine's day to you i hope you enjoy yourself whether you're spending it alone or with your boo you deserve it take yourself out treat yourself i love you guys we are still on the road to 600 subscribers we're also so so close hopefully before valentine's day we do hit 600 that is the goal i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye